back to the channel. Today I am so excited because we are filming my Halloween decor unboxing video. Dang, my hair looks crazy. I got up early so that I could film this piece before work and then I'm gonna film the living room decorate with me after work. So I've got all of my Halloween piled up in the living room over here. Brendan brought it up for me from the garage last night and we are officially moved in to our new house. We still have a good bit of unpacking to do, um, but we haven't unpacked any of our decor because there's no point because I'm immediately putting Halloween up, which is so exciting. I do technically have my first piece of decor up. My friend Shelby made this gorgeous little black and white rainbow for me. It's very Jack Skellington vibes. So freaking cute. Sorry if I sound a little hoarse, we had all of the ceilings scraped smooth from popcorn ceilings and all the dust has been really messing with like my throw and everything. So I just sound a little like I'm sick, but I'm not. I just <clears throat> have a lot of dust in my system and I'm like, it's just hard. We've mopped and dusted and everything like three times. Um, but it just takes a long time to get through the system and settle and everything. So anyways, that's beside the point. Um, this might be a long video. I'm going to talk through all of my Halloween decorations. So if you just love looking at Halloween stuff, this video is perfect for you. Make sure you subscribe. I have tons of Halloween content coming for you guys this spooky season. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys. Let's get into the Halloween unboxing. Oh, it's the best freaking time of year. What's super fun about this is that obviously I know a lot of the Halloween decorations that I have, but stuff I bought on clearance at Spirit Halloween or clearance elsewhere last year, I honestly have forgotten about. And so I'm so excited to like see what I bought and remember what I bought because I don't. Um, so first up, we've got these amazing jack-o-lantern pajamas i got matching ones for brendan and i so we can do a spooky movie night and wear matching pajamas like normal people would do it for christmas i want to do it for halloween so spooky pjs so fun this box is primarily from nightmare before christmas so i've got my frog's breath deadly nightshade and worm's wart pot holder so i'm going to try and categorize this stuff so that when i decorate i can pull from the correct piles we also have my um nightmare before christmas matching spoon uh spatula and other spatula set so super cute i need to wash those before they get used this is actually um um the mayor from nightmare before christmas as a little nutcracker let me see closer to you guys um as a little nutcracker and i actually got this in salem last year when brendan and i went um uh, in like september ish i've also got all these little pumpkins that are from spirit halloween they're all nightmare before christmas themed we've got sally here the sun is coming through the window now that the morning light is coming through i've also got dr finkelstein and a mini one so i'm sorry if the lighting changes throughout the video and then i've got tons of creepy cloth which i use everywhere like there's so much creepy cloth i have this cool little um i'm trying to think of the word for it but it holds a candle and it has like a little cat thing that spins around from the heat of the candle so that's cute we'll put that over there in kind of generic halloween I've got more Nightmare Before Christmas um, pot holder slash oven mitts. I've also got a Zero um, pumpkin, which is super cute. Ooh, these are <clears throat> from Amazon. I will try and link them in the description for you guys. These are um, ice cube molds, or you could use them for chocolate or anything, I guess, but I used them to make spooky jello shots last year. So this was a four pack that came with bats pumpkins little ghost faces and then witch hats so um everything that i can i will try and link for you guys in the description so if there's anything you like you can go down there for it um they probably mostly will be affiliate links so if you really don't like me and don't want to support me then don't click on them oh no I thought it was weird because I saw my little guy and it looked like weird. 
um, this little snow globe seems to have been crushed, which sucks, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably just throw him away and get a new one because normally Spirit Halloween has those every year. I've got a little Lock, Shock, and Barrel trio of Terror Sign, which is super cute. Oh no. Dang. Uh, I've got a pumpkin. I've got my Jack and Sally Sphere Mood Light, and it's like textured, so it looks like the moon. It's really, really cool. And it like changes colors, which is fun. Yeah, I did not pack these guys very well because my Dr. Finkelstein one, which is so freaking funny to me because, hold on, it looks like his wheelchair. Like that's like his little hand. It's so funny. Um, that's broken as well. Darn. And there's like broken glass in the bottom of this. So I need to be careful. Next up, I've got my little, these are like just like little figurines that my mom got me. It's the Mickey and Minnie pumpkin from Disneyland. So cute. I also have this Oogie Boogie um, just candle holder, which glows when you light a candle in it. I've got my Jack salt and pepper shakers, which are perfect if you're doing a tiered tray because they're just so small. They fit so nicely on a tiered tray. I've also got Sally's um, Worms Wort Frog's Breath and Deadly Nightshade canisters. These are like the full ceramic ones that look just like the ones from the movie. So I love these. I think that they're such a fun detail. I love when things look like they like literally came out of the movie. That is my favorite kind of decor to purchase. And then I've got my, <laughs> this is funny. This is how much of a space saver I am. Open this box and more creepy cloth and more creepy cloth so this is my jack skellington cookie jar i actually normally take his um the top of his head off and i use it as um a utensil holder next to my stove so there we go I'm gonna break all my decorations before I even get to put them up, it seems like. All right. First box of like eight. Unboxed. Let's grab another one. This is a very spooky one. This is kind of stuff that more so goes here in the living room because I'm doing a, a haunted apothecary theme. So I've got a rat <laughs> because everybody needs to have a rat. It's just Halloween things, you know? I've also got some skeleton hands, which you can buy at Joann is where I got these. They're like six bucks cheap. I have some Skelegro from Harry Potter. This light is so terrible right now. Maybe I'll move you guys so that I don't have to play with this light so bad. Skelegro, so cute. It is a water bottle. It's just plastic, but I won't be using it as a water bottle. I will be using it as decor. I've got lots of fake candles, which a lot of these probably, that would actually works. A lot of these probably need new batteries pretty soon, but lots of fake candles, perfect for just adding more ambiance. I think the spookiest thing you can do is have a ton of flickery candles. Um, add such like a vibe to the house for sure. Also got these little jack-o-lanterns which are so freaking cute they um have a back so you can put votives in them more spooky candles most of these oh i dented this one i don't know if you guys can tell it's like dented on this side most of these i got from joanne and they have some new ones that look really cool this year they also have a ton of real candles that look awesome there's like a black and like dripping green one that i really want for my beetlejuice bathroom um because it's just sick sick i also have these little candle stands i think i think these are from joanne last year i'm pretty sure but i like them they're very cute just perfect to add like some height if you need it i've got another hand as well and then i've got just tons of little skulls which are perfect for just again adding spooky vibes 
this uh, like raven's skull with like a pentagram and everything and other symbols on it is from Spirit Halloween's like witchy line. Did you think we were done with creepy cloth? Cause you would be wrong. Did you think we were done with creepy cloth? Did you think we were done? Girl, when I tell you I have like pounds, yards, miles of creepy cloth, it's true. I do. I have this adorable pumpkin crafting book that my mom got me, which I would love to pick a couple of those to do on the channel this year, so let me know. I have black light chalk, which honestly is so freaking much fun for like hidden messages on like your house or your sidewalk if you have it. Um, it does not come down easily. Rain will not wash it away. At least it didn't on my house, but pressure washing probably will. It might come easier off on like a driveway, but I did it on the side of my house um, and it's still there from last year. I have these adorable tea towels that are Beetlejuice th themed from Spirit Halloween. Uh, my friend Shelby got these for me for Christmas. It says, never trust the living on one side. And then it's got like just a Beetlejuice all over print on the other side. So, so cute. I'll make my Beetlejuice towel there. I've got some spooky um, cobweb bookends, which I do actually need to spray paint black. That is the color that I want for those. Ow, oh, I've got the head of something. Another pumpkin. This is like a more sophisticated like fall vibe. I don't even know if I'll keep this out, I'm not gonna lie. More candles. Mr. Skeleton! Oh! <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that was unexpected but spooky matches the vibe. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, that's better. We've got my mini Mr. Skeleton and he is ready. His joints are probably real stiff from being packed up all year, but he's, he's looking good. Can't wait to set him out. Freaking cutie pie. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I need to do a better job of packing because I also have something else broken. Dang, I did just a terrible job this year, I guess. More creepy cloth, but this time it's keeping something safe. At least I did that much. Oh, these freaking beautiful glass black candle holders. I have um, one that has three skulls and one that has two, and these are just so freaking pretty. I love them so much. I got them at home goods either last year or two years ago i don't remember i have a spooky key set don't even know where i'm gonna hang these yet but i love that they're like actually iron i can't remember where i got this but i just love that it's not plastic i love that it's like heavy iron like that's really cool i like it when things like are actually made out of the material they look like they're made out of i hate when i go to like pick up something that looks like it's metal or glass and it's like plastic i just I want things to look authentic as possible. That's like my biggest thing is like, I want it to look like it actually came from a haunted house. Oh, okay. So this, these are from Joanne last year. I need to re super glue them down because they're not even supposed to come off, but they all did. So I've got a skull top. God, I'm really struggling today. Holy crap. I got a skull topped one and then a raven topped one. And lastly, I don't even know what this was. I think maybe it was a spider. So that sucks. I'll have to find that and hopefully I can glue it back together. Oh look. More plastic skulls. I have so freaking many of these. They're probably all going to need, oh, it actually works. Once again, okay. They're probably all gonna need battery, battery replacements. Um, 
I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know if I'm gonna bother to put these out these year because they are such a pain in the ass to get down and turn on every single individual one every night. I think I'm gonna order like the click on ones that I can do with a little remote and just, I don't even know if I'm gonna use these at all because maybe I'll use them for like the Halloween party because that's just like flick them on and set them out for the whole party. I can like put them in with like the food and give that a vibe, but it was such a pain in the butt every single night to go and turn all of them on because I had like 30 around the house. Matching spider web bookend that needs to get painted. Something's in here. I have Witch's Handbook. This freaking looks like that actress from, she plays the mom of George and Seinfeld. She's a very famous actress. She's in a ton of stuff. She played, I think her name is Mildred in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but she reminds me of like a baby doll version of her. So spooky book one. Oh, <clears throat> okay. I forgot I saved my bats from last year um, that like can go up a wall and look all spooky and then i've got a bag of spiders to stick in spider webs which is super fun i probably do need to get more spider webs this year ah it was a spider so that is the top that goes to this i probably need to not do super glue i probably need to do something stronger like e6000 if i can make it stay for long enough so that's what that's supposed to look like hopefully i can fix her and these candlesticks, which are so freaking sick, <coughs> just like me, um, they're literally just stacked skulls. And this is like obviously like a shiny black. And then I also have them in like an antique rustic looking gold, which are so freaking cool. Yay. Okay. Which is handbook goes with my vintagey hocus pocusy Halloween vibe. So I do like different color schemes in different areas of the house. If you watched my Halloween videos last year, you probably know that. Nightmare Before Christmas goes in the kitchen. Typically the living room is like hocus pocusy slash vintage orange and black Halloween. This year, because I have these gorgeous bookcases that go around my TV. I'm gonna do my haunted apothecary vibe in here, which normally I do it in my office. I haven't decided where Hocus Pocus is gonna go, but we'll figure it out. Box number three. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know this is gonna be a really long video, but I just thought it would be fun to literally, Jesus, y'all. I thought it would be fun to literally go through like all of my Halloween stuff with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is actually Zoe's and it is a fortune teller belt because she was thinking about being a fortune teller for Halloween last year, but didn't end up doing that. Extra black light chalk, very handy. Okay, we're getting into more of the Hocus Pocus stuff. So I have this little sign that says, it's the one night of the year where the spirits of the dead return to earth. And we've got the Sanderson sisters and we've got the kiddos and Billy and Thackeray hanging out. Okay. Oh, this is my spider web tablecloth. It's got a very cool spider webby, obviously, material. <clears throat> Put that over there. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Oh, I'm so excited to decorate. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got a beaker. I have a whole mad scientist -y type thing that I did for the bar at the Halloween party last year. I'll probably just use these for the Haunted Apothecary. The only thing I don't like is that they look a little bit too new and fresh for my Haunted Apothecary, but they're still really cool, so I use them. <clears throat> I really wanna go thrifting this year and get like some really good old bottles and books to add to the, add to the vibe. This is like my more classy Halloween vibe. I've got these cool candle votive holders that I got from Home Goods. They've got a ton of stuff that like match this collection. So if you want like a more sophisticated upscale Halloween vibe, that is what you can do. I've also got black beakers, which I think fit the Haunted Apothecary vibe a little bit more because they don't stand out to me so much as the glass ones. Call 
cauldron number one. That actually goes on like a little stand that I have that holds three cauldrons. School succulent. Everyone needs a school succulent. <laughs> the matching headset thingy for Zoe's costume. Halloween nails. These are actually not really that Halloween themed. These are Space Cowgirl ones. Spirit Halloween always has a ton of uh, fake nails, so I always buy a bunch, especially after clearance. And these are actually Alice in Wonderland themed, but they're kind of sick, so I bought them. I'm like afraid to pick up stuff because I just feel like I'm breaking everything. Once again, the matching um votive set one thing that really bothers me about halloween decor in general where if i ever come out with my own halloween decor i'm fixing this issue it really bothers me that like these are both right hands because if you put them like this like i would want them to look like a right hand and a left hand i know that's like a very ocd like not big thing for me to worry about but it really bothers me that school stuff is almost always right hand and like they're not right hand and left hand they're just there like even this one they're both left hands see left hands they're both left hands they're not a left and a right so when you like stack them together they don't look right it just really annoys me first world problems let's be honest i should stop complaining white school succulent to match my black school succulent More spooky nails. These are definitely more Halloween-y. They're like orange glitter and then orange with like black blood splotches. Nice. <laughs> this is my Halloween spells, potions. This obviously goes with the vintage, whoops, Halloween vibe that I normally do in the living room. Oh, I missed. Same with this, haunted house that way. We've got what I consider Thackeray and a bubbling cauldron and a broom on an old branchy tree. I might do my like, cause I have a mantle now and I've never had a mantle before. I might do a super overloaded, over the top Halloween orange and black mantle. That's what I think the vibe is. These are the plugs for my Halloween lights. So, need to find those. Oh, more beakers. And it's funny because these beakers actually still have the picks from the Halloween party. These are like little ghost ones. They're just on Amazon. Like I said, I'll link as much as I can in the description bar below. So if there's anything you guys like, you can grab it for yourself. And this, these ones are bats. But I think they're such a perfect little addition and I think they look so cute sitting in the beakers in the food for the Halloween party. Next up, <clears throat> I have two big old trays. This one is broken and these, actually both of them are broken and need, be, need to be repaired. This one's like, I need to save this. This one is orange and black and says happy Halloween. Obviously, you guys can read. And this one looks like a giant Ouija board. So freaking cute. These um, are both from Target last year. So we will see if they come out with them again this year. And there's one of the handles. <laughs> this is Brendan's bathroom decoration because he spends so much time on the toilet. We got him a skeleton sitting on a graveyard toilet thinking about life, much like Brendan does black skeleton jar perfect for storing kitchen items i've got some black witchy boots so cute these these are from michael's along with this um i think they had them again last year so um i haven't done like an update on michael's decor but we'll do some halloween hunting very soon lol extra batteries for votive candles um <clears throat> We'll do an update and maybe they'll have them again this year. 
more Halloween nails. These are my favorite Halloween nails that Spirit Halloween comes out with. I love them. I think they're so freaking cute. And um, I'm pretty sure now I have multiple packs of them because that's how much I love them. So this is a black light. And then I think it also strobes, but not like super intensely. And it like looks like a freaking tombstone. Um, and I'm pretty sure these actually, these got like recalled from Target last year. And I know why, because this one is fine, but the other one I got, like the batteries don't fit in it properly. And then it heats up like really hot to the point where I literally would not be surprised if it caught on fire. So I'm glad they recalled them, but I kept the one that works just fine. I also have this amazing haunted house. This is from Joanne a couple years ago, I think. And it does light up, but it needs new batteries because like, yeah, it's dead. Oh, it looks like it's broken. But even when it is lit up, you can barely see it. The light in there is so puny for like this big house. I mean, it's like bigger than my head. So tis what it is, but super cute haunted house. Love her, love her. There's another one that Joanne has this year that's like black and orange that I might pick up because it does sort of match my haunted house vibe or my vintage Halloween vibe is what I meant to say. What is this? Oh. I've got these super cute old school looking jack-o-lantern lanterns. Um, they're really pretty and they have more votives in them. I told you guys, I have a frick ton of votives that go all around the house. That's why I want to get battery operated, wait, operated ones because I individually went around and turned these on every single night and then turned them off every single night last year. So we're not doing that again this year. We're replacing them. Another box. Oh my gosh. The fact that we're only halfway through and we're 30 minutes into this video is crazy. Can't wait until this is a two hour long video. We've got my Night Before Christmas dishware set. Yes. I put away all my dishes and I only use these throughout the Halloween season. Judge me all you want. I'm not gonna pull it out yet because I pull them out and I put them straight in the wash to get washed so they're nice and fresh um, to be used. But I mean, you can see them. You can see the designs. It's so freaking cute. Target actually has a few different versions of that dinnerware set, not that dinnerware set, but like they have a few different designs. Um, and a lot of them are really cute, but that one was like the most monochrome. So I really, really liked it for that reason. Ooh, this is a lot of new stuff, yay. Um, okay, so I do wanna figure out how to do, I think we're gonna do like a Harry Potter themed bar this year for the Halloween party. I need to get my tea because all this talking is making my throat scratch from the dust. <clears throat> Oh, I can't wait to find all my Halloween mugs and then I don't have to drink out of these mugs. I can drink out of Halloween mugs. Okay, let's keep going. I really want to do a Harry Potter themed bar possibly this year and make all the different um, drinks, like different potions and stuff. And so we've got um, Lord Voldemort's He Whom Shall Not Be Named's wand. We've also got Harry Potter's wand, just for like some added decor situation. You know how it is. Oops. I also have just some generic wands and these ones light up, which is super cute. So I might just like stick these in a jar and let people use them and play with them at the party. This whole box is almost all stuff that I got on clearance at Spirit Halloween last year, which is so funny. Um, but if you don't, I highly recommend shopping the Spirit Halloween clearance sale. I think it's like the day after Halloween, it's 30% off. Two days after Halloween, it's 50% off. And three days after Halloween, it's 70% off. I always wait till the 70% off day and then I just go crazy. And I just let myself go crazy. So, and it's always the most fun pulling all this out and not even remembering what I got. Like these, I got these awesome Beetlejuice window clings because I do my bathroom, like I said, my guest bathroom downstairs in a Beetlejuice theme. And I put like green uh, lights in there that like flicker. It's really, really fun. Um, so I got those, obviously, like 70% off, which is sick. 
I also got a door cover. So it has the giant sandworm and stripes so that people will know they're entering the Beetlejuice bathroom when they go to the Beetlejuice bathroom. I also got this circular tablecloth that has the Sanderson sisters on it. Might put this on the coffee table undecided yet. Undecided about everything so far, actually. I also have Barrel's Lollipop, which is so freaking cute. Um, I can't wait to put this in the utensil holder, the Jack Skellington head utensil holder with like all of my cooking utensils. I think that it will be just adorable. Also, <clears throat> buy your spider webs for next year, 70% off. They always have tons of spider webs left over at Spirit Halloween. So what are you waiting for? Freaking get your spider webs get your spider webs on sale at spirit halloween this year november 3rd or november 1st second yeah november 3rd go get your those also i got two things of caution tape probably will put this on the garage door this year maybe with spider webs underneath it i'm not sure yet but i got two things of caution tape these are 5.99 but i still i got them 70 percent off because i got them three days after halloween do it oh, i forgot about this i also got a beetlejuice mug i do not own a beetlejuice mug at all so i freaking got this one and the new beetlejuice movie is coming out like this year so that's super fun and exciting yay told you more spider webs okay i also got this on sale at spirit halloween last year 70 percent off this is an oogie boogie jewelry tray and it's basically him on his little roulette table and he's in the middle. How freaking cute is that? So don't know where we're gonna put it, but we'll figure out a spot. More skulls. I really like that this one's so angry. It's like a butt crack, but he's angry. I like that. Cause I'm angry sometimes too. So I feel for him. This is one of those things where it's like, I do not, like I don't skip the costumes when I'm looking for Halloween decor at Spirit Halloween. I go through every aisle and i look at everything they have because sometimes things stick out that could be decor that are not meant to be decor so this is like a really cool uh witch doctor skull necklace and i think it's a bracelet yeah i think there's a bracelet and there's a necklace but i thought it would be cool to kind of like drape these over some old books or you know how people have like the rope or like the beads that they do that with i figured that would be really cool so i picked that up just figured that might be cool for like my haunted apothecary vibe i also have more of the storage books so one is a psychic reader and one is a fortune teller and they're all kind of in that vintagey gray with hints of orange and black like you can see it's kind of got hints of orange in it um color palette a bat bottle opener because duh I even forgot about these. I didn't even get these on Spirit. I, I didn't get these on sale last year. I just got them for the Halloween party. But it's just a little garland of skeletons just hanging by their necks. So don't know where these are going to go, but they'll go somewhere. And they'll look great. So remember how I said buy your spider webs? Do it. Um, okay. So the other thing that I really want to do is that the... Um, master bedroom and our house is going to be a haunted mansion theme but i do not have anything really haunted mansion much yet but i did get a couple things on clearance at spirit halloween last year so i got this tea towel set that will look perfect in our bathroom um so i'm very excited about that and it's funny because we painted our bathroom like a super or not our bathroom our bedroom like a super deep deep dark blue green and a lot of the haunted mansion stuff has like a deep dark blue green uh in it and then like that purple and like grays are kind of typically the color palette of haunted mansion items so i'm so excited because our bedroom will literally match the haunted mansion decor that i'll put in it which is super fun a teeny tiny bit of creepy cloth wrapped up on this i i cut creepy cloth to size so that it fits on bookcases um because duh 
and this is a little haunted mansion tomb sweet tomb jewelry box to go like on my nightstand or something <clears throat> Spiderweb. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay. I got these. Is this the other one? It's not. Okay, hold on. Let me unpackage this stuff. One second. Okay, so this is a freaking little brie cooker. So you can put brie in here and put it in the oven and warm it up and it's perfect um so freaking cute obviously it's got a little school on top then i don't see the matching one right now but i have these little ray dunn which i'm not a big ray dunn girl but these are very simple and very cute these are for the kitties little cat dishes one says trick one says treat how freaking cute right so gotta find another one of that and then just like a little black spider webby serving bowl perfect for the Halloween party. I also have this huge Nightmare Before Christmas um, a chip bowl, or I guess you could do it like a salad bowl. This is also from Home Goods, maybe two years ago, but they come out with that collection, or like they have stuff that looks like that, like pretty much every year, so you might find it. I also got this really cute patch set at Spirit Halloween last year, also on sale. I wanna make like a spooky jacket but you can see the patches that it has on it. There's a cat that says hell, a skull with a top hat, a pumpkin, and then it says, wake me when it's October, and it has um, a coffin. So those are super, super cute. Can't wait to make a spooky jacket with these. Maybe we'll do that in a video together this year. Lights. So many lights, because I'd be decorating every freaking part of my house with lights. Another school, but this one you can put salsa in, if you so choose. And then my Jack Skellington cheese board, which slides and has cheese knives. So fun. It actually doesn't really match the aesthetic, so I don't really put it out anymore. Um, <coughs> with the rest of my Nightmare Before Christmas decor, but I keep it and I put it out at the Halloween party, because obviously, you got to. Okay. That is another empty box, y'all. My living room is covered in Halloween. And I'm not mad about it. Is anyone else just so freaking excited for Halloween this year? I think this might be the most excited I've ever been for Halloween because we just moved into our new house. And we've got this gorgeous back deck that I can decorate all for Halloween. I've got all new space to decorate for Halloween however I want. And it's just like... It's like an exciting new adventure, you know? Like the limits are non-existent. Okay, more freaking creepy cloth. Guys, when I tell you, I probably have three miles worth of creepy cloth because I use it everywhere. It adds so much spooky ambiance. If you do not have creepy cloth, get freaking creepy cloth. Little black pumpkin serving tray, perfect for Halloween party. I also have this like random little mini pack of Halloween pens because Zoe and I did like a Halloween scavenger hunt where we bought each other Halloween things last year. So I just saved them. Don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I have them. Oh, the other pieces of the broken handle of that Ouija board tray. Perfect. So I can put that back together. Um, the one of the most adorable things that I found at Home Goods last year were these adorable little Ouija board takeaway boxes, perfect for setting out at the Halloween party and making sure you're not left with a frick ton of leftovers. Even more adorable, it comes with planchette napkins. How freaking cute is that? So, so freaking perfect. So perfect. More Halloween lights. Highly recommend these. These are from Amazon. They are like the little lights that are like super twinkly and they flash and whatever um and i think they're a pretty good price <laughs> excuse me i think they're a pretty good price for how much you get it's like 50 feet of lights and it comes in all different colors so you can get them for christmas and halloween and all sorts of stuff so i'll leave a link in these in the description bar for you guys as well more creepy cloth 
All right, so this, I need to find a use for this year because this is this freaking, so in our last house, our kitchen, um, the pantry and living room, or the pantry and um, uh, laundry room were like combined and it didn't have a door, it just had like a rod where you could put it like a shower curtain or like curtains or something to cover it. And so for that, I got this sick Halloween town, not Halloween town, Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, it is Halloween town also, Nightmare Before Christmas. Or, yeah, it's Halloween Town, right? Yeah. Um, and it's like super colorful. It's got the freaking fountain on it and pumpkins and city hall. And it is just so freaking pretty. It's got the moon and the curly mountain. And so I don't want to get rid of it, but I have no idea where I'm going to put it this year. Like, maybe I'll literally just use it as like a curtain on the windows because I don't have window treatments yet for the house so maybe i'll just do that which maybe that's kind of ratchet i don't know but we're just gonna do that because i don't want to get rid of it it's so freaking pretty i love it and i don't want to put it in the bathroom before you say that i don't want to put it in the bathroom because the bathroom is beetlejuice themed okay and my master bath doesn't need a shower curtain it has a glass door so leftover stuff from halloween party just black plastic forks Save that for the Halloween party. Cauldrons. I got a lot of cauldrons. Oh, this is another black spider webby bowl to match the other one. I really like to get things in matching sets. I just like to have two. It's really convenient and I just feel like it looks nice. I have black cups and extra forks also for the Halloween party. I have this Nightmare Before Christmas party pack that I got in like my Disney Movie Club membership. Literally have never opened it. I keep bringing out every Halloween and then putting it away every Halloween. I need to actually look through it and see if there's anything I wanna use, but I'm pretty sure it's like cheap papery stuff. So I don't even know if I wanna use it to be honest. <clears throat> More covers for the Ouija board takeaway boxes. So I'll put those there. I also had Ouija board or planchette plates for the Halloween party last year. So we'll reuse those so we're not wasting. I have skull baking tray and brain baking tray. So lots of kitchen stuff. Spider web plates, also for the Halloween party. It's great that I'm not even gonna really have to buy supplies for like the party itself because I've got so much already. So that's really nice because I'll save some money since I bought stuff last year. Little Halloween crafty book with like food and stuff. My mom also got this for me. So I'm hoping I can make some recipes and crafts out of it this year. Hopefully with you guys here on the channel. Big ol' skull candy bowl. I used it for chips last year because we don't have trick or treaters at the townhouse that we had. Uh, but I'm really hoping we'll get trick or treaters this year at our new house. Um, this is a cute little like metal tray. This is from the Target like dollar section, but I like it because the handles are snakes. So I might use this on the Harry Potter bar this year because obviously Slytherin. I just feel like that's cute. I also have another pumpkin tray. Okay, I bought a lot of party supplies last year for real. These are also napkins, but they're freaking ghosts. How cute. Also, these are from Amazon. I will link them. I got you. Okay. Next up, also from Amazon, is this really like ornate kind of Victorian looking skull on um, a spine, but it's also a planter slash bowl slash whatever you want to use it for. I just think it's very pretty. Some glittery battery operated candlesticks. One is a little worse for wear. And then I have this really cool spider web cake stand that's a cake stand that's a cake stand and another halloween pen <clears throat> okay that is box number one two three four five and we have three more up here and then two more big ones downstairs oh my gosh you guys i really I so much Halloween stuff. I really bought a lot last year. I can't even believe it. Oh my God. There's so much Halloween that I'm having to move in a different section 
so that I can keep adding stuff to the pile because otherwise I'm gonna run out of room. Black planter school, it looks really cool. I put a plant in here and then I like drooped the plant through the eye. Looked really sick. So I might do that again this year in my haunted apothecary. Cute black cat blanket. Another one of those vintagey looking jack-o'-lanterns. I also have more lights. Uh, skull garland, two sets to be specific. Mm -hmm. I also have my Nightmare Before Christmas lock, shock, and barrel phone case that I do need to put on my phone because it's Halloween. Also, the remote to my uh, strobe lights because it's important. I also have little covers for my outdoor pillows. I do a little bit more of like a fall theme most of the or most of the season out on my patio, but then I switch it into like true Halloween stuff before the Halloween party. So I bought these like matching pillow covers for outside, which are really pretty. I've also got this awesome punch bowl. I got this at Home Goods Halloween at Home Goods last year. It was kind of expensive. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks but it's gorgeous, it's huge, it's like a very dark bronze color, and then it's got bats on either side. So perfect for a Halloween party for sure. Put some bubbly in that and it's perfect. All right. Box number six, I think. Oh, here are the rest of the pillow covers. So on my lumber, Lumbar pillows, I have this like orange plaid and then more of the folly ones. So those are really cute, they work out there. And then I switch over to Halloween ones, which I'm sure we'll unpack here in a minute, um, just before the party. Um, so you know how I said I have an addiction to the Spirit Halloween nails? Dang it, I wasn't kidding. I really wasn't. Um, okay, so these ones are really cool because they are black with red sparkly blood dripping from them. Very fun. Matte black with skulls and pelvises and rib cages and skeleton hands. Nightmare Before Christmas ones, naturally, because duh. Witchy moon and stars and purple and sparkles and black. Very cute. Also witchy, but in like a different way. These are blue and purple. Also have moon and stars and like sayings on them. These are $5.99 each. So again, if you go out to Spirit Halloween, um, after the sale, they're like two bucks each. That's why I stock up on so many. Remember how I said I love these? I told you guys, I have like multiple packs because I love them. Jack lantern nails are just so freaking cute. Oh, I also have another pair of the purple and black witchy ones. So, highly recommend. They're perfect for switching them out throughout the season. Super, super fun. This is from somebody. Oh, this definitely melted and re congealed multiple times. A friend of mine bought this, or maybe it was my mom. I can't remember, but it's Spooky Spider Cider. And it's a Yankee candle. This is probably from my mom. My mom likes Yankee candle. But as you can see, it smells really good. It like definitely melted while it was out in my shed and then like re-congealed. So hopefully I don't have a problem lighting it. Luckily the wax didn't seem to spill on any of my stuff in here, which is good. Also, I think this is from my mom. This is a Jack Skellington ornament, but he's got his Santa hat on. So I might save this for Christmas and not put it with my Halloween stuff, but... I'll make a decision later. Another one of those RIP graveyard black lights. More covers for the Ouija takeaways. These are from also from Zoe last year. They're glow in the dark Halloween socks that are little kitty cats that have ears. Adorable, adorable. Um, oh, these are really cool. These are the Sam lollipops from Trick or Treat, but they're earrings. Adorable, right? 
Yep. Halloween. Uh, black zip ties because you need zip ties. When you're setting up Halloween, you need zip ties. And Halloween always has like a, Halloween, Home Depot always has a Halloween collection of them that's like orange, black, and gray. So they're perfect because they blend in with your Halloween decor. All right, what else do we have? We've got my Thackeray Binks mug from Disney World last year and it says Hocus Pocus on the back of his head. Super cute, I've never actually drank out of it, but he's adorable as you can see. These are the other cauldrons that go on my little trio hanging set. So cute. More remotes for lights. And more lights, naturally. Okay. These are very fragile. Uh, but I've got more of the beakers in lots of different sizes and glass ones also in lots of different sizes. These are all from Michaels. Their mad scientist stuff is awesome. They've got it again this year. They've got different types of beakers. They've got beaker stands. They've got lots of really cool stuff. There's a big black one and then more plugs for my outdoor lights, giant which is cauldron drink dispenser, which is actually glass, not plastic, which is the only reason that I bought it because not only they're plastic and it really bothers me. Got some cute tea towels. This one's a Mickey Mouse one and it says, happy fall y'all. Oh no, it says hello fall. So I'll keep these out for the beginning of the season and then switch to like truly spooky ones. Like this one, which is Nightmare Before Christmas. And it also says Trio of Terror and has Lock, Shock and Barrel. I also keep this freaking 70s costume that doesn't even fit me anymore. I need to take it to Goodwill or something. I don't know why I keep packing it up every year. Random gold pumpkin, might give this to Zoe because I think it matches her decor more than it matches mine. Same with this blue one. I normally put the orange and blue pumpkins together on Brendan's desk because then they're like Florida Gator colors and he's a Florida Gator fan. But now he doesn't have room on his desk because there's so much nerdy stuff that I think I'm, if Zoe wants them, I'll probably give these to her too because they kind of match the vibe that she's doing in her room. Same with these, I never use them. I never put these out. I don't know why I keep packing them away, even though I literally never use them. Oh, I forgot I bought these, yay. Um, they're coasters. They are all Nightmare Before Christmas coasters and they've got like four different prints, which is so fun. I love buying this stuff that's like functional but still spooky, just to switch out things. More of the pumpkins that I never use. Um, Oh, Jack Skellington, or sorry, Oogie Boogie glass. This is a sticker from the print shop that my friend works at. And then a pumpkin-y blanket. Love a spooky blanket. And more fall tea towels. And that's everything from this box. Can you believe we still have two more boxes to go? Not including the two that are downstairs that are my biggest ones. Speaking of Hocus Pocus stuff, not that we were talking about it, but this, I also got at Spirit Halloween, 70% off, and I'm so glad I didn't pay full, pay full price for her, but I freaking love her. Look at this freaking, that's not even the front, look at this statue of Winifred. And, Okay, it needs batteries, but it lights up and it's green. I love it. I think it's so sick. They have a lot of these like statues in their Hocus Pocus collection. So if you're a big Hocus Pocus fan, highly recommend Spirit Halloween. Box number seven, let's go. This is like a random thing that I absolutely love. It's Jack's scientific method book from Night Before Christmas. Again, like I said, I love things that look like it actually came from the movie. This I got at Disney World. I love that when you open it, it has his scientific formula for Christmas. So I put it on my cookbook stand a lot of the time and leave it open to this page, but it actually is a journal. So if you ever wanna use it, maybe for Halloween party planning or something, which I might do this year, uh, it is functional, but I love to use it just as display as well. 
so cool. Love her. More schools. Three, three stack of schools. Um, something icky got on this, which is fine because it fits the vibe. More spooky looking books, brew spells and potions. Perfect for my haunted apothecary vibe. Y'all, remember how I said, went around and turned each of these on. How many do we think I've unboxed now? We gotta be, we gotta be past 30. Gotta be. Another cauldron. This one's just plastic, which is not my favorite thing, but it works. Another one of those classier pumpkins that might get donated to, to Zoe's Halloween fund. Another candle. This is from my friend Kara, and it's so cute because we call ourselves the Girl Gang, and it says Ghoul Gang. How freaking cute. And it smells like pumpkins? Berry Fun Ghoul's Night Out Scented Soy Candle. So berry. Oh, yeah. It smells like berries. I've also got this cool uh, witch's cauldron. This is from Spirit Halloween, I believe. No, this is from... I think this is from Joanne. But it's nice because if you have like a more sophisticated vibe, it has like a gold side with the moon and then an all black side, which I prefer the all black side because that just fits the vibe I go for um, a little bit better. So I like that you kind of have two options with that. Oh, here is the three stack candle holder. Again, these are stunning from Home Goods. They're all glass and just beautiful. Oh, here is my Beetlejuice gravestone, headstone says here lies Beetlejuice. And unfortunately he is missing a wing, which is funny because I didn't even notice when I picked it up from Beetle, or I don't remember, I can't remember if I got it at Spirit Halloween and I didn't notice or if it broke immediately after I bought it. One of the two is the correct answer. I don't remember which one. If we find the wing in here, then we'll know. But I'm pretty sure I bought it wingless, which is funny. These are from Joanne. I just got these like black ceramic uh, candlesticks. They're perfect if you want to just like add some height to something. It just kind of props it up. And if you want it to look a little bit more like unpolished, you can just add some creepy cloth over it and it's good because it's like black and it hides it. Um, so love that. More scary potion bottles for the haunted apothecary. I'm assuming this goes to a cauldron. I just don't know what cauldron or where. Does it go to this one? I think so, yeah. I think it goes to this cauldron, yeah. Okay. More strobe light remotes. And more cauldrons. And Spooky potion bottles. See, this is what I mean where I like how these are more like unpolished and they look like they'd be in an actual haunted house just collecting dust and grossness for like a hundred years. I love that. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Holy crap, okay. Oh my gosh, and this is not even one of the biggest boxes. This is like not even close, okay. I've got more um, cat bowls because I like obviously wash them and switch them out. This is also Ray Dunn. It says Wicked Cute and then it has a pumpkin in it, which is so freaking cute. I love just having little Halloween touches, even as something as basic as a kitty bowl. Got more fall tea towels and more spooky tea towels. Some, this one says nothing's more suspicious than frog's breath um, from Spirit Halloween. Spooky dish towels. More press on nails, except these all came from TJ Maxx. So this one, these ones are so cute because they're haunted houses and then bats and then orange sparkly ones. This one is candy corn and jack-o'-lanterns and ombre sparkles. And these are by the brand Kiss. They do Halloween fake nails every year as well. And then these are really cute for like easing from summer into fall. 
because they are pink but then when you look closer they are spider webs and diamonds and bats so these are probably going to be the first ones that i put on just because they're a good transition one um so last year we did test tube shot glasses so i've got all these shot glasses just in here and this is the top to that glass cauldron that is a drink dispenser so those will be saved for the halloween party more tea towels this one is so cute my mom got this one embroidered from when we did a halloween girls trip together holly and allison it's got mickey and minnie so this was um already had this in there from disney and then my mom added the customization at the top which is so cute more halloween dish towels oh and this one says meowloween and it has another pumpkin in the back super cute and these oh my gosh are more test tube shot glasses with the holder which i might spray paint black this year um again these are from amazon and they were such a hit last year we drank every single one of them so i will link that in the description so y'all can purchase that for your halloween party i also have spooky soap and the cat glows in the dark because you need that my mom got that for me more beakers because like i said i do a mad scientist vibe on the bar last year this year it's probably just going to be used for the haunted apothecary Ooh, okay i think we're getting into the halloween mugs which is so exciting first of all i have this adorable teaspoon that is jack skellington's bow tie and it goes with a jack skellington mug i have adorable i have these eyeballs which we put in the punch last year to make it look extra spooky that goes in my oogie boogie mug also from spirit halloween more eyeballs Ooh, i need to be careful more beakers see you i like to buy like multiples of things so that i can really match the vibe cute little skeleton dip bowl more beakers dr finkelstein mug he's so freaking cute he gives me the creeps and i love that about him these these <laughs> This is a matching set of um, mugs that I got at Target a few years ago. Obviously, it's Jack and Sally as pumpkins and mugs. It's kind of a lot, I know. Um, these are very fragile. Can't be dishwashed, can't be microwaved. They're kind of cracking. I literally only use them as decor now because they're basically not even functional as mugs. So if you're looking for something to actually drink out of, I don't recommend those. If you want something else to display, I say they're very pretty. Oh, here's the matching one to the trick bowl. It's the treat one. Very cute. And then this is a Sanderson Sisters blanket. All Hallows Eve. The weirdos are out. Obviously goes in the living room with my Hocus Pocus vibe. I've got another Sally mug that my friend got me last year and it says, I'll be your nightmare on the front. So cute. That came from Zoe, I believe. Also, this um, glow-in-the-dark spooky uh, cup from Starbucks I had to have last year. And it comes with a straw that glows in the dark as well. I thought that was so cute. This mug is from Salem, Massachusetts, as you can see. It's got like kind of like the Salem night sky and like a witch on a broom under the moon with the witch museum and the ship. And very cool. I love this mug. It's also like a very hefty one good for a fat cup of coffee in the morning this is the jack skellington mug that that little spoon goes to look how cute he's smiley on this side and then he's angry on this side adorable jack and sally soap dispenser yep poison apple mug that changes colors when it hots when it's hot the black changes to green which is super super cool this is definitely the fragile box that is for sure 
cauldron mug. This is just from Target. It was like five bucks, but I love that mug. I put hot chocolate in that one and like whipped cream goes on it so nice. Zero mug. Uh, freaking adorable. Oh, I love these cups. I put iced coffee in these and there's a straw that goes with them and they're little skulls. I have two of those. Perfect little matching set. Oh, Scary Teddy mug. This is one of my favorite ones. I love putting a fat hot chocolate in here. Scary Teddy. His eyes kind of look like boobs and I think it's really funny. This is the Home Depot Halloween zip tie collection I was talking about. Black, gray, and orange. Perfect for putting up Halloween. Um, this is a Jack mug that matches that little mini scout Sally one, but I accidentally put it in the dishwasher and all the writing came off, which is really, really sad. I just realized his mouth is also messed up. It got like folded up and goes up his nose. So he's seen better days, but it's fine. Oh, I, okay. So this is what happened. Last year, Zoe, I ruined that one. And it was funny because then Zoe bought me one and um or maybe a different friend bought this i don't remember but anyways uh and it's not ruined so i have a ruined one and a good one which is so funny and then packed away inside of him is another mini beaker but this time with pumpkin picks inside yep Oh, I love this mug. This is Oogie Boogie's dice with like the uh, sandworm imitation rolling through it. So freaking cute. Absolutely love this mug. And I think that's it for the mugs for now. Um, and then I've got this awesome cat Halloween as a different characters blanket. This is a long freaking video. Oh my gosh. Okay. I also... <laughs> When I tell you, I just buy everything functional, but a Halloween version. Um, yes, I switch out my sponges for Nightmare Before Christmas sponges. And so this was like a multi-pack from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something. And so I switch out and I use Halloween sponges during the Halloween season because that seems correct to me. Oh, okay. So that glass cauldron sits on this stand and then it glows green. And so it's really cool because if you do like a clear drink, it turns it green, which is awesome. And then if you do a green cocktail, it turns it even more green. So love this. That's from Target. <laughs> more freaking nails, guys. These are different Nightmare Before Christmas ones. These are not from Spirit Halloween though. I don't think. Maybe they are, I don't remember. But they're really cool, they're like a watercolor. They kind of give me like tarot card vibes actually, which are super cool. Random black Halloween makeup because gotta have that. These are all the toppers for the test tube shots. So got those. Got a spider ring that my mom gave me a few years ago and I just haven't worn yet. Box lunch. Oh, I think this is the spoon rest. I've been looking for a Nightmare Before Christmas spoon rest for a long time and I finally found one and it's Jack up on his mountain lamenting about his life. Spooky shopping bag because you gotta have that. Black light because you gotta have that. I'm pretty sure this one strobes too. All right. That is the last box that is down here. So the other ones, I literally need help to get up here because they're that heavy. So I'm going to have to enlist Zoe to help me bring them up and then we'll go through those ones. Y'all, it's the fact that we've unboxed all of this. And I'm a little out of breath because 